Hello Libra and welcome to your Twin Flame reading. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And this reading will resonate with you if you're the Libra or even if your twin is the Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus or Rising. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by pulling a card for you from the Twin Flame Guardian Angel Oracle. And then we're going to do a Celtic Cross spread using the Everyday Witch Tarot to see what you need to know. And this card, you know, your Libra card came out today in the Daily Twin Flame check-in. And I really feel there's a huge message about karmic endings between now and your season. So between now and October, karmic candy. So if that resonates with you and you're waiting for the end of a karmic situation in your connection, a big, big sign of change. So let's see what you need to know. So thank you, angels. What's the energy, please, around Libra Twin Flame? So I'm taking out any cards that are jumping and then I'm going to split the deck and I'm going to pull off the top for the reading. So I've got three cards that are just jumping out for you. No, four cards there. And I'm going to pull a card from the Twin Flame Guardian Angel Oracle. So what do we need to know for Libra Twin Flames, please, angels? Jump straight over the camera. Look at that. Wow. So the first energy is inner child. So you're being reminded to connect with yourself, to have fun, to bring playful energy into your life. Because a lot of the times we take things way too seriously. And your inner child is craving your love right now. Inner child healing is essential now on your twin flame journey. So I feel you're healing and you have been healing since 2020. And your twin has been healing since 2020. Lots of inner child inner wounds. And these wounds are connected with abandonment, not feeling good enough, or feeling like something is lacking or missing in your life. And can also be around com comparison. You know, maybe comparing yourself to a karmic partner or feeling jealous or envious of another. These are things that are being released. So the angels are guiding you to feel safe and to know that you are loved. And also they're guiding you to safe places to be and go to express yourself, to loving healers who will help you with healing your inner child wounds. And that just may be right here on the channel because you're connecting with angels here. You're connecting with other divine feminines here who get it. You've been able to understand your journey from a higher point of view. And you're also being guided to be more playful and more in touch with your inner child. So the message is coming through. Look at this. We've got the King of Swords. So right now, if your masculine is a bit indifferent with you or is a little bit silent with you or there is still separation, he's struggling to find the words and he needs to find them. But he's pointing out to you that he's making a change. He's saying, I'm making a change in my life. I'm finding a solution to our problem. I'm going to make a plan to move this forward and I'm becoming more independent every single day. And I feel this is a huge sign that they are changing. And the thing I'm really being drawn to in that card, and you may have picked up on this if you watched yesterday's reading, the blue cloak with a hint of gold in there. And I'm seeing that as... You, Divine Feminine, wearing your powerful cloak of blue and gold light that gives you strength. And that strength has really been sent to your twin. And your twin is feeling that. And I'm also seeing the eagle coming here as well. So, masculine's returning. Remembering that you're the empress and you can give birth to your dreams. So, this is about you knowing who you are. And that's really what this whole journey is about. It's about you standing strong and choosing peace no matter what's going on around you. As these decisions are being made for your journey. And I feel your masculine is just a little bit afraid of letting go of the life they've created for themselves. And that's what they are releasing right now. And that's why you're being asked to have patience as these changes take place. I'm definitely feeling decisions between now and September, which is what we picked up on in the daily check-in today. So the message coming through here for you is to let go, to let go, to love life, to be more playful and remember who you are. So let's do a salty cross and connect in more detail. So First of all, the reason we're asking the question, and this is in reverse, is the Ten of Pentacles. So maybe right now you are worrying that they have the life that you want with them, with somebody else. And you're waiting for that to end, for you to be together. 
And this is also you releasing any doubt around being with your twin and having the kind of life that you want with your twin because the love is real. So focus on the inner union to create the outer union. Focus on self-love right now. Remember, if they seem to be busy with another or if they are in another life, you know, with their, their person, focus on you. And I feel someone may be watching as well who may not yet have met your twin on the 5 they've been meeting on the 5D but not in the 3D, or maybe your twin has transitioned to the other side. And you've been reminded that you're here to work on you. Self-love is the key. You have a beautiful cup of love that overflows with power. So focus on filling up your cup first to attract everything else in. And remember the power of the love is strong. Your bond goes beyond any piece of paper with another, any marriage document or anything that they feel bound to. They are bound to you. Okay, they may feel bounded by contracts or red tape or financial circumstances, but that can't break that powerful bond with you. And I'm seeing this as you learning how to meditate and connect with your twin. And obviously, you know how to meditate, but how to connect with your twin in a very balanced way to bring more balance in. And really, you know, what I'm seeing there in the card is this lady here or you may see there as a man, I'm seeing there as a lady or a man, bringing in balance. So, you know, the scales of the Libra energy. So make sure you're filling up your own cup to bring power in. Because your masculine is fighting through their situation and their challenges and facing their own fears to be with you. So this is showing you he's already on his way. He's just fighting through. And you can see again that powerful blue cloak there. So I'm really feeling your masculine is being given the strength of Archangel Michael to carry on, to get to you, to be more focused in their energy towards you. They know what they want and they know they want it. So your masculine is very aware of you and giving me fear, being with you. I feel that he may even be drinking a little bit too much alcohol if he's dealing with his current situation right now. And, you know, the bull energy there is also about Taurus. So I feel this is about taking control, wanting to take control. He's been wanting this for so long with you and he knows what he needs to change. So trust the love, trust the power of the bond you share. That's really the big message I've got coming through for this reading. You must trust the love and have faith in it because it's going to conquer all things. It will help you to overcome any chaos any obstacles, any challenges, any tower moments in your life to move things forward. So you see the destruction of this karmic relationship. You see the end in ahead. You have faith in that. And you know that good news is on the way, that the masculine is going to leave these things behind and start again with time. So keep your eye on the targeted intention. And remember that things on social media or things that you see in the real world sometimes are absolutely not what they seem. You must look through the illusion and focus on the higher path because the outcome is that your intentions are manifesting, your dreams are happening, and that you'll get where you're meant to be because it's all happening for your higher growth and learning. So keep your eyes on the targeted intention. Your masculine knows what to do. You know, right at the beginning, you've got this energy where he's pointing out to you that he's making a plan. And that's what he's showing you here. I'm choosing the right direction. And this card's moving on top of the deck, the Eight of Pentacles. So a big message about change. A big message about movement and things happening the way they're meant to. So you're both doing the work to achieve union. And to end the reading, I'm going to bring in my deck, Magic Love. So, you know, a little bit of a fun deck to bring in some playful energy as well. So what do you need to know right now? What do we need to know, please, angels, for Libra Twin Flames? One card, look at this. Show your hand. Show your hand. So your masculine is saying to you, I'm preparing to show you my hand. And this card's moving on top as well. Wow, it just moves on top of the deck. So... Your masculine is preparing to reach out and show you his truth and express himself to you. And look at this, inner child, I've got angel bumps. So make sure you keep things light-hearted and you have some fun. You know, in that card, I'm dressed up for Halloween. Whenever I dress up for Halloween, I always connect with my inner child and have more fun. So the big message for you coming through here is to have more fun. And I feel for some of you, there's a baby coming as well. So you have got a baby in heaven 
you know, a spirit baby that's going to come down into the physical world. Now, that won't resonate with every single person watching, but I feel some of you understand and know that you're going to have children with your twin and you're ready for that. Maybe you're worried about the biological clock ticking or you're worried about time running out and you're being reminded that you have as much time as you need because with God, all things are possible. So have some fun, connect with your inner child, show your hand to yourself. And remember, the best really is yet to come. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.